so hello everyone and welcome back to the another video so in today's video we are going to discuss some basic but important topic from exercise therapy that is the center of gravity the line of gravity and the base of support so the video is going to be short but informative so if you like the video then do hit the like button and if you are new to the channel do subscribe the channel so without wasting any of the further time let's begin the video starting with the center of gravity to know the concept of center of gravity firstly you need to know about the gravity so what is gravity the gravity is nothing but a force which is exerted on all the objects by the earth for example if you throw an object upwards it comes downwards because of the force of gravity discussing about the center of gravity the center of gravity is an point on the body at which the earth gravitational attraction is most effective when the body is supported at its center of gravity then it is well balanced for example i am having this book and uh, this is the center of gravity of this book if i give support over here then the book is well balanced if i give support here then the book will be not well balanced or uh, if i give here then then also it is not well balanced so although it is wrong to spin the book in such a way but to explain you all i am going center of gravity in human body in human body the center of gravity is situated slightly anterior to the second sacral vertebrae although the center of gravity vary according to the age factor as well as the gender so center of gravity is situated slightly upwards in case of small children and males and it is situated slightly downwards in case of women so now coming to the line of gravity the line of gravity is nothing but an vertical line which passes through the center of gravity again for example we are having this book and this is the center of gravity of this book and the line of gravity passes exactly through the center of gravity in the human body the line of gravity passes through the midpoint of the cervical vertebrae slightly anterior to the thoracic vertebrae midline of the lumbar vertebrae and anterior to the second sacral vertebrae going downwards it passes between both the legs and finally at the midpoint between both the foots now coming to the base of support particularly the base is the area which is covered by the body on which it is rested now we are having this bottle and uh, it is rested on my palms so the area which is covered by this bottle is nothing but the base of support of this bottle the base of support in the human body is the area between both the feet when the base of support is small then the body is not well balanced when the base of support is larger then body is well balanced so in human body when both the feet are together and then the then the body is not well balanced and when the both the feet are slightly apart from each other that is base is wider then body is well balanced so that is all from the today's video if you are having any queries related to this topic then let me know in the comments below if you are new to the channel do hit the subscribe button and if you like the video do hit the like button till then meet you in the next video bye bye